Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your episode of Asylus for Rights of Man as the Teutonic Order. I am the Game Blot. Thanks for tuning in once again. Uh, our first shipyard in Danzig is finished. We are building another one in, I think. Oh, there was another one somewhere that we were building. I can't remember. I think Kolberg. Yes, that is also finished. So, our naval force limit has obviously gone up, which is nice. Unfortunately, it has increased our... Um, well, it has increased our naval force limit a bit. I'm supposed to increase it by two. Yeah, naval force limit plus two. And naval force limit plus two. So why are we only allowed 24? Something screwy going around here. Anyway, uh, Burgundy just died. And Castile inherited, well, basically all the land. I've only ever seen that once before. Not sure went wrong. What went? What went? Bleh. English apparently is a really, really hard language to speak, even if you've been speaking it for all twenty-five years of your life. Yeah, odd. Uh, we do actually need to get the army over there somehow. None of those will give. None of those will give us any military access. X. And I don't want to bump autonomy. Or do I? Local unrest minus 10. What's the unrest currently at? Well, obviously it's at... Uh, it's because of the separatism. Separatism decays by 0.5 a year. So we lose 0.5 unrest. Per year, I do believe. That may also be why our shipbuilding is only at 24 rather than 25 like I had hoped. Um, other things that happened, we did lose an advisor. Uh, we took up a plus two yearly prestige guy, which only gives us one plus one prestige per year in the hopes of maybe, maybe getting our 50 prestige before the timer runs out. Unlikely to happen, however. Uh, as we are decaying by 0.18. So we need something to give us a little bit more prestige. Maybe we get a couple more devotion modifiers or I don't know. I mean, our advisor costs are down, which is really, really nice. So we are making money regardless. So our devotion and our power projection are the two things that we actually need a little bit more. Um, humiliated arrival, that goes away. We need to figure out who we haven't humiliated in a while. Also, I think Hungary no longer considers us a rival. Yes, so we can take you off the list. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, why can we not click to change it? There's something odd going here. I'm not sure why. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, that disappears in two years, so in 74 we need to take a quick look at who we can and can't insult again. All of our allies love us. Brandenburg was in a war with us, obviously. The Livonian Order likes us as well. Historical friend, we declared war on their enemy. We've improved relations with them a little bit. Uh, but for now... Oh, where do we go from here? Oh, okay, we got kicked out. There. Hmm. This is problematic. Just a touch. I'm not entirely sure where to go from here. Uh, we'll fabricate on Denmark, I guess. He is rival to us, obviously. I don't think we can actually get anywhere with this guy. No. The only other option, obviously, is to declare war on Poland. But Lithuania would take their side and we'd be all alone. So that's not a good idea at all. We are recovering our manpower. 
Um, no. Distance between borders, and they are loyal as well. But we could improve relations with them. They may be a, a nice ally to have later on if they do indeed declare independence at some point. I think actually we are going to go over our force limit. If only because some things there are bugging me. 46 days. There we go. We'll go over it too. We'll have a nice little thing of 10. Uh, Siena is obviously is now a free city. Where's Siena? It's in here somewhere. I'm not sure. Oh, down here. Austria is doing everything it can to keep. Yeah. A majority of its Italian territories in the Holy Roman Empire. Yeah, yeah it's basically doing what I would have done. Anyway, our last war with Pomerania. Our first war with Pomerania was marginally successful. Uh, unfortunately, we actually misclicked the button and returned Stolp to them, so we will have to declare war for that again. And this time, maybe take Griefswald or something else, depending on how many allies we can get involved. The Livonian order was not entirely useless this time, which was actually really, really good. Maybe their ally is... Oh, he's a hardy warrior this time. All right, so they got rid of the other guy. Pretty good. We can now do things here as well. Uh, let's take, let's take the prestige as well. Yep, and we are now going up. Positive prestige. How long does that modifier last for, though? Well, obviously, uh, until 93. So, a good 20 years. Hopefully, the timer does not run out. I would actually like to have that admin power. That'd be kind of nice. I mean, not that we need it or anything. I'd rather take the military power, to be honest. Because we are bumping out a military idea about... Oh, halfway through, I guess you could call that. Next month, we can take the workshop. Um, not sure. We might get some other bonuses out of it. Our next idea is at level 7. I don't really get anything at level 6. We do get some production efficiency. Well, that's at level 5. And they get a few other bits and pieces. Our institute, we cannot embrace it just yet. We don't have, well, much of anything really. Absent merchant, lose the diplomatic power. What do we get in the next one? Colonial range. Some extra morale. We don't get to trade anything or anything like that. Our boats essentially say the same. And we're ahead anyway, so I think... Yeah, we'll lose the diplomatic power. Oh yeah, corruption goes down as well. That's always good. We can now build a workshop. And our national decisions. Do we want to force? I, d I do like... I do like that, ta that tax modifier, though. So we will take that. Clev still wants Condottieri. Send you out to protect the fall of the trade. And Pomerania has announced us as their rival. Fair enough. Hey, what can you do? Where are you going? Oh, on a boat. Right. I, I guess we just wait for that truce timer to tick down. We can't actually do it until... Oh, mm, many more years from now. It would be nice to connect our territories at some point. I, don't know, I guess we're just sitting here and letting the game run. Let's claim a little thing. I want your island. nice but we don't have the right ideas for it 
and another boat. Well, we have 11 boats now. So we didn't need to go that far over. Oh well. More boats, more money. We can build more buildings. In fact, I think I might actually build another one here. Another thing in there. Um, hmm. Something tells me that maybe the production isn't worth it, except maybe in Danzig. Kolberg doesn't have anything either. You know what, I'd rather take that. Let's go in our capital. 95 ducats should take a little under a year. And we can now take uh, ship durability, or do we go for... Because the next one's all boat-wise, except for the last one, which is our artillery and our discipline at the end there. Infantry cost goes down. I think... I'm actually going to wait. I'm going to take the arabesque instead. Because it will be cheap for us. Or cheaper than it otherwise would be. Rigger's having problems. It never hurts to look into it. How much do we actually need to get that next tech? 646. If only there was some way to transfer... Never mind. And that penalty really sucks as well. How are we doing with the Institute spread here? Six per month. Five. Five. Nothing there. Nine. Spread of 35% there. We'll get the tech points back pretty quickly. And I do believe that actually goes faster for every 10 you are up. So at 20, we get a little bit of a bonus towards our tech spread. Hey, we've ejected Pomerania from our land. Always nice. We do have diplomats to send. Yes, yes, we do. Wouldn't be such a bad thing, would it? And our prestige is slowly, slowly going up. Um, I wonder. Because we have positive stability, we could stop throwing money at this, maybe? A, it's not really doing anything. But because of this, changes by negative 0.2 from our trade, our tech, and our positive stability, maybe we might get some uh, events from that. There now are events attached to your corruption as well, depending on A, the level of it and how much you have and how much you're spending on it. Uh, in our last campaign, we were very, very honourable. I'm not sure if those events give you any prestige, though. Like, really not sure. But at least it is going... Oh, it's going up quite a bit now. Instead of 0.18, it's now 0.7. Hey, even better. Because we got that painful blessing. And our power projection is still quite high. In fact, we can now insult some people. Can we insult you? But well, we obviously have no diplomats to send. Eh. And we're back. All right. And our prestige is going up even... Well, maybe, we'll see. We'll watch the monthly change. An extra one per year as well. Uh, a little bit. 0 0.02 it went up. Can I have it? No, you're not going to give it to me for free. Fair enough. Cannot threaten more while there's a truce. Alright, we're about halfway through there. And we really can't actually go anywhere else. Rebels wrecking their country. Lithuania, you could come and, you know, call us in. Maybe. They don't want any Condottieri either. 
bit of a problem. Theodora, I think, is at war with them. Crimea, Poland didn't offer to help you out at all. Nope. Lithuania is very much on their own in this one. We don't really need the Diplotech. And I really don't want the inflation either. Again, I would rather have the... Oh, we are so far away. It's not even funny. Well, it's 10% cheaper, but we get... Ugh. That tech penalty from the Institute, though. Yikes. It's expected to be present in 1550, so another four years. Well, no. Oh, a long way away. 150 years, even. And all because of that spread. So horrible. That's got a long way to go before anybody up here can embrace it. Meanwhile, everyone down here, obviously, tech ahead of us. Making everything miles cheaper. Oh, more Diplo rep. Thanks for that. Didn't really need it. Oh well. It's unfortunate you can't convert anything over to... Speaking of over, we are complete. We're over time. I'm the Gameblot. Thanks for watching a rather uninteresting episode of European Invasalis 4. Uh, we'll see you again in the next one. Hopefully something interesting happens then.